guys, today we want to talk to you about some of the awesome weight loss therapies that we have here at Titan Medical Center. It's a big question that a lot of patients or a lot of potential patients always contact us about. Obviously, with a lot of people being overweight or being obese, this has been detrimental to their health or they're planning for their future health and they don't want this bearing uh, on, the, on their shoulders. They don't want this weight, you know, because at that point, everything will start getting worse as you get older. So with that, the best therapies in no particular order, right? Um, these are some of the ones that we think uh, that people would want to hear about or want to cover and know more about. So the first one let's cover, I guess, would be ECA stock. My favorite. It's a great therapy. It's an oral therapy. So it comes in a capsule. Um, we have all different types of doses that are prescribed by a licensed medical physician or a nurse practitioner provider. Um, and at that point, it's going to do some great things for you. As far as increased mental clarity, um, it should help with weight loss, building up high core temperature as far as that, so you can burn that fat. Um, it's also gonna have great other components in it to support weight loss and boosting your metabolism naturally. So this one is just a great therapy all across the board. What do you think? Well, so if you wanna know what's in the capsules, it's got ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. And all these different things do a, a combination of great things to help you lose weight yep. and it, it works very well so yep. i mean you know i don't tell people necessarily to just sit around and do nothing but let's just say if you were sitting at your desks all day you're still going to be burning fat because your core body temperature yep. heats up so even people with mental clarity and they want to have a little bit more concentration you can take this if you know you're going to have a long day and boom you're off to the races yep. so this is definitely one of my favorite therapies i've been taking it for a very long time and you guys wonder how i stay like this you know and i don't go to the gym every day that's a little secret but don't tell anybody all yeah, right <laughs> ECA is going to be great for anybody, even all day, you know, you're at your job or whatever it may be, you'll be on more of alert and it's not a stimulant that's going to be overstimulating you to you as well. You don't want to overstimulate yourself and there's a lot of bad things that are out there that people can get over the counter that are really, really bad for them and bad for the health in the long run. And you don't want that. So get some of the best and that's what ECA is going to really help you do. I mean, the best part about it, right, is it does come in a low dose and a high dose. Yep. So someone like me specifically, I do have a sensitivity to caffeine. So that's why I take those, because if I did take, you know, let's say I drank a Red Bull, which I don't have to do anymore, thank goodness. But let's just say I did, I would only be able to drink half that Red Bull without being shaky or getting heart palpitations and feeling bad. The good thing about these is they don't do that. You won't get palpitations, you're not gonna feel bad, it doesn't make yes, you feel, there's no crashes, it doesn't do anything like that for you. So that's probably my best part about it. And then if you have a higher tolerance, we have the higher dosage for you. So you can take it either once a day, it might last you all day, or if you wanna just be a little bit more aggressive about it, you can take one in the morning, you can take one at lunch. So there's many different ways to peel it, to get it right for you, because everything is customized to the patient. That's right, and it's awesome. You can go and sleep on this too. A lot of people ask me that question. Am I not gonna be able to go to sleep at night? This will, you will be able to go to sleep. You don't want to take it directly don't for bedtime. Don't take it at six o'clock at night, on. okay? Let's be smart about <laughs> this. But you know, some people do. And it will replace a lot of the different things you may be taking already to get that stimulation. Whether it's for your daily activity, in your job, your daily life, or even in the gym. A lot of these people are taking pre-workouts that have a crazy amount of caffeine per serving size. And they're taking multiple doses of these servings and it's really doing them harm in the long run, and they don't feel that good. I mean, forget about the caffeine, right? Think about what you're taking in. Yeah. Do you know what you're taking in? No, you don't. No one knows what you're taking in. Yeah. Because in those powders, all those filters, they gotta filters, be, yeah. they, uh, they, they're, they're gonna have to be processed somehow, right? Yeah. And where do you think it's getting processed? Through your liver, through your kidneys. Yeah. So when we get the blood work back on some of these patients, we were looking at this and we're like, what are you doing? You gotta be doing something. And you have no idea that you're doing this to your body because you have no idea what you're putting in your body. Yep. So you want to be very specific about what you are putting Absolutely. in your body and know what you're putting in your body. Absolutely. So that covers the ECA Sac Plus. The next therapy, we want to talk about semi-glutide. That's the Aries hot one. Aries injectable weight loss therapy from the Type Medical one. Center. The hot one. This one is the hottest thing, I guess, in weight loss that we have right now. For sure. Um, this is an injectable therapy. Um, and the main ingredient, semaglutide, is the main drug that's used with this. And it's a really, really great medication. 
It can work for massive patients as far as, you know, contraindications and such. There are a few on there, but majority of patients can take advantage of this. So whether you have cardiac issues or you have high sugar levels, this therapy can still benefit you and you can still get that weight off and you can use this long lasting. So it can be a therapy that you can use for a great extended period of time and get the benefits all throughout. There's nothing really better out there, I think, as far as weight loss. It's got the FDA approved studies behind it and the weight loss as far as how much the, you know the average patient is going to lose. So if you're looking for something that's going to be very aggressive against weight loss and fight that fat in the battle of war, right, like Aries does, then semi-glutide is probably gonna be the therapy for you. I mean, the best part about this that he had not mentioned, right, is it's only one shot a week. True. That. So some of you guys that are very inconsistent, True because there are some of you that are very inconsistent um, or cannot remember to take your therapies every day. And that's okay, you know, that's what we're here for is to remind you. Right. But it's only once a week. So you just take it on a Monday or whatever day you want to and it's just once a week. So it makes it that much easier to remember and be really consistent about. It's very simple, very easy to do and you'll get a lot of great benefits with it. Not only just losing the weight, but hopefully helping your health in the long run too as well. So the next therapy we want to cover for you guys is gonna be AOD 9604, Advanced Obesity Drug 9604. This is a peptide therapy. People hear and talk about peptides every day, but this peptide is specifically designed for weight loss in patients. It has 176 amino acid sequence. That's 176 of the sequence that's in growth hormone. Now this is in growth hormone and this isn't gonna cause any of those negative side effects. Yeah, no confusion here. Don't confuse it, okay? <laughs> but it's got the sequence specifically designed for weight loss in it. So this is gonna be great for lipogenesis and lipolysis. So that is the destruction of fat in the body and fat cells and using the food and everything you're bringing in for energy and putting it to good use instead of storing fat in your body. So what's more better than that, right? Um, it's awesome therapy. It's got gross status, generally regarded as safe. So this is a great therapy all the way around. So if you want to know more about this peptide therapy, I mean, you should contact us today, but what do you think about it? I mean, I think it's a great therapy to take with other therapies. This is a really good one that you can take in combination with your ECAs. You can take your ECAs and you can take AOD yep. and you'll get the best of both worlds. And I mean, there's many other things you can stack into the mix, but those two truly make a wonderful couple. Absolutely. So all the therapies that we've talked about in the future, in the past, most of them you can use together and utilize to get better overall benefits and better results. So AOD is not any different from any of those other therapies. You can add this in the mix and get better results or design specifically for what you're trying to do. So for weight loss, we have another option for you guys, and that's Titan Complete. This one is great. Overall, all natural for you guys. Has MYC in it, has B-complex, B12, all three of the branch chain amino acids, and it has L-carnitine. It's gonna help a lot of different things as far as boosting the natural metabolism, processing those fats to your liver faster, helping with the nervous system, hair, skin, nails, and getting a whole bunch of other benefits along with it. It's one injection per day you take in the morning. It doesn't have any stimulants in it. It's good for a majority of patients out there, and it's gonna cover a lot of the bases of what you may be taking in orally all the way right now. It's also gonna be one of the best transportation rates inside the body with a little insulin needle that's virtually painless. And the absorption rate, that is what it's all about. Obtaining and absorbing everything that you're taking in so you're not losing any of that good stuff. And you will lose it if you're taking it orally, okay? So this is far superior and it's gonna help you guys out in your daily regimen to improve weight loss among other benefits that it has. So like John mentioned, it does have your branch chain aminos in there, right? And that's your leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, a lot of you guys are taking those in these cool little shakes before you go and work out or after your workout to make sure that you retain the muscle mass and you're feeding into it, right? But how many of you guys get a stomach ache after you drink that? Or you might not even know really yeah. what you're actually getting. Yeah. So at least you'll know what you're getting. And this is actually good too for people that are doing fasted, type of diets and things like that so that you don't cannibalize your muscles right because if you're not eating you're gonna 
You might drizzle You're going to go into atrophy. Little. That's what's going to happen. So we don't want that. No, you don't want to go into calorie deficit and lose those hard earned gains. Gains. That muscle, those lean muscle that you got. You want to make sure that you don't go into catabolic state. It's really, really important to do that, right? So when you're trying to, you know, slim up per se, but you're still trying to keep the muscle, that hard earned muscle that you've worked so hard for, that's really what branched chain amino acids are good for. And let's not forget B-complex, which covers a wide spectrum of a variety of different things, and B12, even make methionine and acetylcholine. I mean, there's a lot of different things that they do, but processing fats to the liver faster is going to help you guys, you know, speed up that weight loss journey, which you guys are trying to do. And like I said, it's one little injection per day. That's the best part. you can do it every part. other day if you want to, I mean, right? listen, that's the best part, right? You can get it all in one shot. Someone like me, I don't want to take 100 shots a day. So if I can get one shot and just do one injection yep. with a little baby insulin syringe that doesn't hurt, I'm all for it. And think about this. I see some of these places out there, these vitamin stores, wherever, and they're selling a B12 injection with Mick for $30 an injection. You can, guys can get 30 mLs for $275. That almost breaks down to about $9.50 to $10, let's say, an injection. You guys are saving 20 bucks, and you guys aren't just getting Mick or B12. You guys are getting B-complex, all three branch chain amino acids, and L-carnitine. It's a lot more bang for the buck, and it's gonna help you guys as far as the benefits and the results that you guys are looking for. So if you guys wanna utilize us, don't worry. We can help you guys out anywhere in the country. Call or text us, 727-389-3220, or check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. Blood work is the most important thing to start with if you wanna get on a healthy track and live a healthy lifestyle. Why? Because you wanna know what's going on inside of you. That is where Titan Medical Center can help you out nationwide, getting in-depth blood work, seeing what's going on inside so you can make an educated decision where you want to go with your health and your life. Contact us today, 727-389-3220.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, you'll see me, my beautiful wife, giving you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully take your relationship to a whole nother level of enlightenment, love, and romance. Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. Yeah. We'll Not see. everybody has gotten this in their life yet or uh, has been able to experience that love or romance, but that's okay. We have faith in you guys, we believe in it, and the world will give it to you as long as you're asking for it and doing the right thing. Manifesting. That's a manifesting. Manifest my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of girls that I know are, that are single are manifesting rich, uh, good looking, young men so they can marry and have awesome families with. Wow, I'm not sure if I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I was manifesting any of that. I was just hoping for a good guy. <laughs> That's all I was asking for. Just uh, give me a good guy that won't cheat on me, right? New day, a new age, right? Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, so this week we want to help you guys out with one topic that does come up quite a bit, um, and people really don't know what to do or really how to respond to it. I guess to certain circumstances. Right. And that's insecurities. Oh, no. That's insecurities in your relationship or insecure people in your life. Yeah. That could be your partner. Um, it's kind of crazy, right? Insecurities can definitely do damage to the relationship, do damage to, you know, your communication portion of the relationship and a lot of different things out there um, by having insecurities, right? And, you know, it's not healthy for the person that has the insecurities as well because, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the little things that are going inside your head and you're making all these other scenarios up <laughs> and you know then then you think the scenarios I can are build, real I can build a whole story you can build it just off of one small thing that was misplaced believe it and then take it out <laughs> on your partner because you think it's true <laughs> so this is something you know it's it, there's a fine line right with insecurities and jealous jealousy and all these I'm things I'm never out there, jealous right? ever <laughs> But uh, you know what do you do, right? What happens if you're the insecure person or you're in an insecure relationship? Yeah, that's a tough one, huh? That's a tough one, right? Because a lot of different things go along with insecurities like trust and, and different things. But you know, usually insecure people have dealt with past traumatic situations mm -hmm. or issues by other people in relationships that have done them damage. And uh, you know, I know some of my friends and my guys call some of these girls out there and there's oh, guys like go. damaged goods some people's trash is other people's treasures oh my so. god <laughs> it's like buying expired uh, vegetables at the but store. it might not be expired to some people that's what i'm saying right it just expired some on the people ticket. look at things as trash some people look at it as treasure it really just depends on um, you know their point of view and Kate, how they look this at this is things why I, I, I absolutely love my husband <laughs> But you know what do you, what do you do, right? So you know what, what do you do? So if you're this situation, you're the insecure person, um, and do you realize you're the insecure person? That's the first thing, right? Yeah. You got to realize this and, and say, listen, you know, I do have some insecurities and some past things that happened to me, and this is why I feel like this. And I think that's the first thing is communication with your partner. We always talk about it, or even maybe even recognizing. I guess at first, yeah. Because if you're in like denial. denial then that makes it worse yeah. because then you guys are just fighting over something you're like yes you are insecure no i'm not insecure yeah. yes you are insecure yeah. no i'm not insecure now, you can't even get past the point of like how are we going to correct this because yeah. you can't come to terms that you're insecure about whatever it might right be. like no i'm not you did this to me like oh no maybe you did but hey who and knows? maybe the other party has to uh be uh, you know, for up and come for up and come forth and say, "Hey, listen, maybe I did do this to you." Yeah, maybe it issues. works both ways, right? There's a two-way street on. Well, <laughs> mostly not down here in downtown. There's lots of one-way streets. However, yes. in relationships, there should be a two-way street, and there usually is always a two-way street on yeah. everything. Yeah. So yeah. you know, it works both ways. So yeah, so the communication portion is the most most valid and most. Number one priority thing you should really take into consideration when you're talking to your partner because at that point, if you're telling them, hey, listen, this is why. Now, that might not be a good reason why, but at least it's a reason why. And that's just not, you're just doing it out of thin air. <laughs> you can at least say, oh, well, it was because of past relationship, which the rebuttal should be probably like, this is in your past relationship. 
you should be judging me on me, but it's kind of hard because that's all they've been used to in the past. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel for them. Well, I mean, then, then you, then the other party should probably maybe think, all right, how, what can I do to make them feel more secure? Right. Yeah. Or what, 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 what might I be, be able to go out of my way to make them feel better about it? Yeah. Right. And insecure doesn't just mean like, I mean, insecure can go from all the way from like mentally insecure, yeah. emotionally insecure to physically insecure. You know, you could yeah. be insecure about something on your body or something on your face. It could be, I mean, it could be something physical, right? Yeah. So if it was something like that, that's an easy fix, right? right. You know, you just, you're going to have to support your partner and be like, Hey, listen, obviously I'm with you cause I love you and I love everything about you. Right. So it's irrelevant, you know, what you're thinking and you get over it because you're seeing something that I don't see, right. you know, it's what, that's an easy one. Yeah. Now all the other things about, you know, putting, uh, air tags in their car, tracking them down a little bit, you know, who is to say? I mean, it's it's, a, it's something fun to do, but the apps <laughs> or uh, calling into the phone company because you guys have, are on the same plan. Yeah. Oh, and then getting the, the, the detailed call log. Yep. And then going down and calling every phone number on the call. I log. have never done that. <laughs> never, never. I have never ever done this. This is funny. We stuff. have been together a long time. Call logs. <laughs> yeah, those work out really good. Really, really good. Especially if you take the phone and really go through it and start digging in the numbers oh, and stuff. Man. So yeah, I should have been a private investigator. <laughs> I told him that when I met him. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I never should have been in nursing. That was not really my true career. My true career must have been yeah. to be a private investigator. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> if you're the insecure person, obviously identify the insecurities and, and, and know that you have to deal with them in some way, shape or form. Right. If you're in the relationship and you're dealing with insecurities, the insecure partner per se, you know, communication is going to be key there too as well. Talking to them, telling me, hey, listen, you know, I feel this way, uh, you know, and I don't like to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way. And what can we do about it? And they're like, well, you made me insecure by doing this, this, and this. And they give the examples. Then you're like, all right, well, at that point, I'm going to prove to you that, you know, you don't need to be insecure about these things. And that takes time too as well as action. Because you can say it all day. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Yep. I promise. I'm going to change. Whatever it is. But until you show the action of doing so, it's just words, right? And at that point, they don't really mean anything. Even if your word is bond, it really doesn't mean anything yet until you put those actions into play word, and show bond. that person. You know, I'll give you an example. I like using real life examples and I'll use John as an example. What a great example, right? So, you know, we've been together forever, right? Um, and so John, when I first met John, I mean, listen, when you're in the first like two, I would say solid two years, right? Because it sounds like a long time. It's really not that long. But even in the first one or two years, you're really still figuring each other out, you know, what, what your but hot buttons are, what to do, what not to do, whatever it is. I'll give you a prime example, right? So when I first met him, we would go out to places and people would take pictures of us and stuff like that. And obviously we take group pictures, right? And so John, he, he's like a very friendly, I don't know about anymore because I'm like, Rawr. but you know, he was always been a very friendly guy, you know, with females and, you know, and would just maybe like put his arm around them or something or, and then you have the girl that puts the arm around him or something and, and it's on the other side. And then I get the copy of the picture and I'm like, why is she hugging you like that? Like, I don't even like that. So over time, John has become weary of it, you know, and kind of, you know, I think he's, at least he understands like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have this girl stand next to me for a very bad photo op of Sharice getting these photos and this girl having her hand anywhere near me because she doesn't like that. And that's just how I am. Right. He's finally accept me for who I am. I'm sure he doesn't get, you know, now he doesn't get mad about it. Back then it was just it was all hell broke loose at every given point in time. And that was great. It's made us in who we are today. <laughs> it's molded us for sure. <laughs> it has molded us. Um, but I'm telling you, that's, it's, it's something small that it kind of relates to, to this issue. And I, I couldn't say I was like insecure because I've never really been insecure per se, but I just didn't like it, you know? And I'm like, I don't want anybody giving you a hug, like, you know, like in, in any areas that I don't like or too tight or too low or too high or too close, you know, it's just, I don't like it. So what did he do because he loves me is he made a conscious effort to make, make sure that they're separated and he made it, he made a change. And that's my point to the story is that 
you know, I expressed to him communication. I don't like this. This is bothering me. Da, 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 da. Even though I probably felt stupid saying it because he's like, what is your pro are you really like are you really stupid like are you being stupid why are you being like this and i'm like because i just am i don't like it i just don't like it and of course it's like you know and he's made the conscious effort you know quickly too to be like hey, whether it was a conscious effort because he loved me or conscious effort because he just didn't want to hear my mouth <laughs> one of the two or the combination I mean, either way, he fixed it. So that's the point is that, you know, communication and then obviously on the other end or however you guys want to work it out to come to some sort of agreement of like, okay, this is what makes sense and I'm okay with this now or, you know, I, now I feel better about it or whatever it might be and you're doing it because you love them and you want them to be happy and you want them to not feel insecure and you want them to feel good about themselves or whatever it might be. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you truly love your partner or you truly like your partner a lot, maybe it's in the beginning stage or whatever it is, you want them to feel the most comfortable they possibly can, trust in you, um, you want to build that over time, obviously. So, you know, just give your best effort, right? And make them feel really comfortable and, you know, at ease when you're around them or not around them, per se, because that's when it really mostly happens. Uh, it is what it is, but just make those conscious efforts, communicate. That's key. Communication. And don't be insecure. And if you are insecure, make sure you communicate this to your partner so they understand why. And you guys make changes so you guys can move forward. That's yep. what it's all about. All right? So that's another awesome Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. Every Sunday, 11 a.m., we'll see you guys. Giving you guys all these great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new level. We'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. See you then. <laughs>